morning everybody i'm glad you're here thank you for being connected throughout the month of november and uh, right now uh, i'm very happy that you are still connected so thank you and uh, i just want to remind you that throughout the month of november we looked at how to be um what is a grateful how to pray grateful uh gratefully and uh, we looked at the stories of uh, Moses and Miriam, we looked at the stories of the 10 lepers, uh, we looked at the story of uh, Apostle Paul when he was in the prison writing his letter to the Philippians and today we are going to look at the story of one particular incredible person, anybody's name is David, okay so all the David raise your hands, okay now so we are going to look at uh, King David, uh, so a psalm that he wrote, and we are going to look at the answer to how should we pray gratefully. And uh, I hope that you guys are ready now. So before the teacher start, I need everybody to be quiet uh, and then listen, focus on your teacher and raise your hand if you have a question okay i will be with you right back good morning guys welcome to our memory verse section Today we are memorizing Psalm 100 verse 4. And here it goes. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Okay, so everybody, let's say it together. I'll say it. And then we say after me. Okay? Let's go. Psalm 100 verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. And his cause with praise. Give thanks to him. And praise his name. Let's do it again. Psalm 100 verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. And his calls with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Can we do it all together? One, two. Psalm 100 verse 4. Enter his gate with thanksgiving and his cause with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Good job, everybody. Now that we are done with repeating it, how about we sing it? One, two. Psalm 100 verse 4. Psalm 100 verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Psalm 100 verse 4. Psalm 100 verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving 
and he's caused with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Good job, everybody. We are done with our memory verse section. Bye bye. I'll see you next time. Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for staying connected. Today we started learning. Uh, since this month, uh, this month we started learning about how to pray gratefully, how to pray with a grateful heart, and that was the question of uh, that we had to talk about today. Now, so we did say in the previously we did say being grateful praying gratefully means that you are being grateful in appreciation and acknowledgement in admiration and in attention the most important part is coming right from your heart so we should not forget to be grateful should not forget to be thankful and we need to be thankful because it's important in god's eyes it helps improve our relationship with god and with others and also it helps us focus on what we have instead of what we do not have um and then uh, an example or how we can an example of how we can show uh, we can pray gratefully is we showed paul apostle paul he wrote a letter to the philippians thanking them because they were partners with him for partnering with him to preach the gospel and also because um because of his thankfulness he continuously prayed yes he was praying even when he was in the prison chained he was still praying right and today we read psalms 100 verse 1 to 5 in which we saw how king david was grateful uh to god he prayed gratefully to god and uh, we need to remember that we belong to god that's the first step and then so we can pray when we pray we need to pray joyfully i'm not saying that you need to pray like laughing but the joy is something that comes right within our heart not from physical it starts from inside and it comes out and also um we need to give thanks to him uh with a happy heart yes the heart is important and we need to know that God's love is unfaithfulness. It endures for ever and ever. Right? So that's in summary all that we have learned for the whole month of November. Now, so our prayer this Sunday is with letter P. So, I challenge you guys to do one thing. When you are praying, pray grateful with a joyful heart. Remember, everything is right from the heart. It's not your physical appearance that you are laughing. It doesn't mean that you are grateful, right? So, everything starts from the heart and then it will show up in your faces so i would like you to close your eyes and bow down your head we are going to pray okay let's pray our father in heaven we come to you in jesus name please forgive our proneness towards the pleasures of the flesh but do not let us be persecuted by it Father God, please purify our hearts, our mind, our bodies, our soul in the blood of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray for these children all as all the day of the Pentecost. Send them your power so they can prophesy to the dry bones as prophet Ezekiel did uh, upon your instructions. In your promise plan for hope in the future, Help them perceive your presence 
as you provide and protect them whenever and wherever they are. Put a burning passion for you in their heart. May they, pers- may they persevere in prayer. May they practice the habit of always praising you in everything. May they live the purpose-driven life for which you have created them uh, while following the percepts that you gave them in the Bible. Father God, may they be peacemakers, uh, patient and prosperous while keeping their hearts pure for you. May they... Uh, be like pillars that will support the future church, the church. And Heavenly Father, please help these children to remember to always pray to you willingly and gratefully for the glory of your name. Our Father in heaven, thank you for everything that you have done in the past, what you are doing now, and what you will do in the future for these children. In the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth that we have prayed. Amen. Thank you for staying connected throughout this month. Remember the adventure continues that we have learned how to pray gratefully does not stop there. We have another topic that we are going to talk about next month. And I can't wait to start talking to you about it. So stay connected and happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.